So today is Good Friday. It's the day that we remember Jesus' death on the cross. My name is Seth Doctor. I'm the student pastor here at First Southern. And I have two questions for us today. First is, why is Good Friday called good? And then secondly, when's the last time you sat down and read uh, about Jesus' death on the cross? When's the last time you've done that? Or have you ever done that for yourself? First, why is Good Friday called good? See, Good Friday is called good because Jesus on this day did everything necessary to restore our relationship with God. You see, you and I in our own way have rebelled against God. We have lived life the way we think it should be lived. We have made ourselves God of our own lives and we have called the shots in our own life. The Bible calls that sin. Each one of us has rejected our creator and rebelled against him. And that sin has to be dealt with. That sin has to be paid for. And Good Friday is a day where we remember that Jesus did everything necessary through his death on the cross to pay for that sin. First Peter 3.18 summarizes it perfectly. He writes, For Christ suffered for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God. Jesus' last words before he died, before he breathed his last, were, It is finished. What that means for the Christian is that Jesus did everything necessary. He completely paid for sin. There's not a little bit of sin he didn't pay for. There's not like, okay, now that I've asked for forgiveness or now that I give my life to Christ, now I've got to live a perfect life. It's like, no, Jesus paid for your sins in the past, your sins that you're committing now, and all your sins in the future. That Jesus, because of what he did, that whenever God looks at you, he no longer sees your sin. He no longer sees you as an enemy, but he sees Jesus' perfection and he sees you as a friend. That God then, whenever we put our faith in, in Jesus, he brings us into his family. And that's why Good Friday is called good. But second is, when's the last time you sat down and read about Jesus' death on the cross in your place for yourself? I want to encourage you today to take some time, uh, to take a few minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, to sit down and to read John 19 for yourself, to see what Christ had to endure to, to bring you to God. And then last, if you don't have a place to worship on, on Easter, if you're looking for someone to worship, I want to encourage you, um, 1030 this Sunday, this Easter, join me here in this room, uh, for, in this sanctuary, to worship uh, King Jesus together. Love you guys. Peace.